Hey, what's up, our YouTube Digital Soul here? <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Hope it's good. Um, I just wanted to say thanks a lot to everyone for giving me the positive feedback on my show, YouTubing with Digital Soul. It's my way of getting other people in the community heard. Now, there is another show out there. Go up here. You can type in that little search bar. There's a show called The Skinny. And they've been doing a lot longer than I have. So if you want to check them out, you can. I'm going to be talking about them more in the next YouTubing with Digital Soul. But for now, let's get to why I'm here tonight. I'm here to address an issue, man. And here it come. One more time. 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 Go! this edition of Addressing the Issue, I'm going to be talking about finding a job. A lot of people out there have trouble finding jobs, or a lot of teens out there don't know what they need to do to try and get a job. First things first. First impressions are lasting impressions. You have to make a good first impression. So dress as if you want the job. Don't have ripped up jeans on or pants hanging off your backside or tore up t-shirts or t-shirts in any manner. I'm not saying you gotta wear a suit and tie, but dress nice because these are the people that you want to hire you to pay you to performing a job or service for them. So go to them and make a good first impression, man. It helps. Also extend your hand out. Shake the person's hand that's gonna interview or the person that's gonna give you the application. Speaking of applications, I went out and snagged me one so I can help walk you through it. I'm not saying that everybody needs this help. If you're not concerned with this, push the little button and move on to another video. But I appreciate you watching and I appreciate you allowing me to waste your time. Now with any basic application, you got to know your name, present address, how old you are. They're going to ask you a lot of things. Now when you first go in to get an application, you can go in, ask the person, hi, I was wondering if you were hiring. A lot of times they'll say, well, we're accepting applications, and they'll hand you one. And a lot of times they'll say, well, do you need a pen? It's good to always have a pen writing utensil to fill out the application. It shows that you're responsible. Now, my advice would be to get the application and take it home and fill it out and then bring it back a later date because it gives you more time to think and ponder on the application instead of being pressured to fill it out right there. But if you are, there's some basic things, name, address, social security number, you got to know these things. Um, date of birth, um, who referred you, starting salary. A lot of people put in starting salary some outrageous number. Oh, I want $10 an hour to come and make french fries. No. Write open. Open where it says salary because that means it's open for negotiation. Okay? Also, put availability. Don't put today. Don't put ASAP. Put a date in there. If you want to start tomorrow, put tomorrow's date. You know what I'm saying? Also, who referred you? You can put walk-in if you don't know anybody that works there. Okay, then they're going to have a weekly schedule availability. The more open you are, the more chances are they're going to hire you. You can put open for everything or put actual times. If you're in school or something, put when it is that you're available to work. Don't tell them that you can't work weekends because chances are they're not going to hire you. When you go in for the interviewing process, you can always tell them, well, is it all right if I don't work every single weekend because I have some activities that I like to do? I'm not saying that I won't work any weekend, but it's always nice, you know, to have a weekend open. Then you got your education down here. You want to put in your school, location of the school, courses majored in, did you graduate or not, and any kind of colleging. You know, that's all on these applications. Now on the back, you got what other skills do you have? Were you ever in the military? Um, and then they want references from other jobs. Make sure you know your starting dates, your ending dates, your salaries, the location of where you worked, the reason you left. Don't put you quit or walked out because the job sucked. Write something in there like, well, there was no room to expand. You had climbed up the ladder as far as you felt you can climb with that company. 
or it, you just couldn't utilize your skills to their fullest potential at that current job and you'd like this job. But it's if, if it's your first time, then you can't fill any of that out at all. I'm just saying, never put in a bad reason, okay? So it's your previous employer, where they're located, from when you started to when you left, the salary, the name of your supervisor, what position you did, and can they contact your previous employer? So never, ever just up and quit on somebody because you never know when you're going to need that person for reference. Now also there's times where they want three references and it can't be family members. They might want a reference of a friend. It's someone who's known you for a certain amount of time. So if you want to make a little cue card and don't carry it on you all the time, just carry it when you go to the job. So you have the names, addresses, or maybe job of the person and their telephone number, how these people can contact them. And make sure you're going to give them somebody that's going to, when they call them, they're going to give you a decent reference so they'll hire you. And then you date it and sign it, and then you give it to them. And if you're going back to present it to them, make sure you, once again, you dress nice and thank them for their time. Then whenever you go in for an interview, that's when you can sweat. Just always be professional and just try to answer them openly and honestly. A lot of times they'll give you a test if you walk into like a Kmart or something and they're going to ask you a test like, do you know anybody that has stolen? Would you ever steal? Would you report someone for stealing? You got to let them know that you're an honest person because they're not going to want to hire somebody who's dishonest. Now, where should you look for a job? You can either walk around the mall and look for help wanted signs. You can look in the local paper and the one ads or everybody gets a penny saver, right? Well, at least here in the States, in my area, we do. And in the back, there's a career mart and you can look in there. Don't just apply to any random job because chances are you might get hired somewhere and you might not like the job. Try to apply for something that you're going to like. Now, if you have to get a job at McDonald's or some kind of fast food place, understand that that is not the rest of your life. And if it is, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with working in the hospitality industry. But a lot of people will say, well, I don't like my job and they slack off and they hate their job and then you never get any kind of raise, you never get any kind of promotion. Make sure that you like your job if you're willing to stay there. If you don't, you're going to leave. Make sure that you give a two weeks notice. You can make a resume out for a job and hand it to the employer. That's always nice. Or a letter of recommendation on top of the resume. And you can get a re letter of recommendation from maybe a school teacher or maybe a local policeman if you know them and they can help you out that way because it's always good to have something like that because that gives you a little edge. Um, if you don't have a high school diploma, I would recommend that you go out and get yourself a GED. Because a lot of people might say, well, GEDs are no good. Yes, they are, because it shows that you're willing to try and further your life by showing that you have tried to get an education. Also, make sure that you let them know how many hours you're available to work. If you're in high school still, you can't work all the time. You can't kill yourself. Money's a great thing to have. And it's even better when you've earned it. But just don't kill yourself. Because if you're in school, an education is very important. So make sure you don't stretch yourself too thin. All right? If anybody has any more questions, please feel free to PM me. Again, I am no expert, but I've had some jobs in my life. All right? So I hope this has helped somebody. I'll be watching you guys, and I appreciate you watching me. You can always subscribe, but you don't have to because I'm easy to find. All right? This is Digital Soul. Good luck finding a job and becoming part of our workforce and paying those taxes, man. I'll see you when I see you. All right, guys? Peace. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time.